Rise and shine, dogs. It's Monday. After the pledge, we'll be best buddies, hot dog challenge, picture day, and more. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There is a Best Buddies call-out meeting during community on Thursday. Please go to room 215. This club works to establish opportunities for one-to-one -one friendships, leadership development, and inclusive living for individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Hot Dog Challenge is back for those of you that do not know. Hot Dog Challenge is an intense battle of the students. There are games that are both physically demanding and mentally challenging. They are meant to win at style games and will be competing on September 24th at 4.30 p.m. You will compete in teams of six, three boys and three girls. It can be from any grade, but you must have three boys and three girls. The competitions will be scored and the top three teams with the highest score will compete against the teachers at our homecoming pep session, who will be the Hot Dog Challenge champs this year. A sign-up form will be sent out to your emails today to create your team. Please see Mrs. Hall, Mr. Taylor, or Mr. Jewell with questions. Don't forget hot dogs. Picture day is this Thursday, so make sure you clean up nice. Now to Aiden with sports. Yo, yo, yo. It's Monday, dogs. We back. Lots of action this weekend. Friday night, the football team opened up their season winning the Dog Bowl. They pulled out a 44-20 win. Coach Byers says Caleb Boggs led the ground attack with 120 yards rushing and three touchdowns. Doug Wood picked up right where he left off last year, going 10 for 18 for 118 yards, passing in one touchdown. Lalo Castillo had a long touchdown reception to increase the lead before halftime, and Jackson Woods and Keaton Myers both came up big with two-point conversions. The defense was led by linebackers Caleb Boggs and Josh Ortiz, who combined for 17 tackles. Keaton Myers forced a fumble, and Angel DeToro had an interception. Armando Valdez Alanis made a huge impact in the kicking game. He averaged nearly 50 yards per kickoff, averaged 30 yards per punt, and blocked one of Clinton Central's putts. Punts. The Dogs' first home game is this Friday against another nasty county rival, the Clinton Prairie Gophers. Make sure to plan to be there. Amazing job, fellas. Way to start out the season. Results from the Jacob Graff Cross Country Invitational at Logan Sports have, ca at Logan Sport have came in. Coach Galati says the girls' team ran very well to finish 7th place out of 21 teams, defeating uh, county rivals Clinton Prairie and Rossville in the process, and more importantly, they finished 15th out of 13 future sectional opponents, which would have set them up to potentially qualify for regionals in October with that same result. They were led individually by Naomi Garcia at 26th place out of 113 runners. The very young boys team had a solid race despite losing five of their top six runners from last season and finished ninth place out of 22 teams. Out of the 13 future, future sectional opponents, they finished sixth. The boys were led by our lone top six return, returner, Chris Angeles, who finished second place overall out of 136 runners. And our JV runners were led by Leo Roa in third place. Nice job, everyone. On Saturday, the hot dog tennis team went against a very strong Benton Central Bison team. Although it was a difficult match, the team continues to develop and build their tennis game. Their next match is at is at home tomorrow against Northwestern starting at 515. I believe that's all for sports today. Now we'll send it to Ingrid with today's weather. Good morning hot dogs. We're back with another Monday. Today we can expect party cloudy skies with a high of 90 and a low of 71. Make sure to wear sunscreen. That's it for weather. Sending it back to your hosts. Psych! We got more sports, baby. Also on Saturday, the volleyball team traveled to Faith for the Eagle Invitational. The girls finished 2-1 and one and placed second. In the first game, the girls fell to a very talented team in Faith Christian. 
that they then won the next two games against Fountain Central 2 to 1 and then Bethsaida Christian winning in 3. Coach Rustin says against Bethsaida the girls played their best volleyball so far this season. She states Brooklyn Perry led with 7 kills and 2 solo blocks while Ella McAtee and Chloe Mowdy put up a big block to help set the defense. Jalen Smith had 23 assists with 4 kills. Daisy Valdez had 6 digs and Ashley Zhang brought the team back in game three by serving three straight points to tie the match at 14 and then with Smith finishing points 15 and 16. Caroline Queen had 12 digs and Lily Rockhold had eight kills. It was an exciting team effort with a great stride in the right direction for this season. Nice job girls, way to bounce back. The boys soccer team competed in the Hot Dog Invitational. The dogs won their first game against Rossville 4-0. Those goals being scored by Sebastian Mora Chris, or Cesar Alanis and two from Daniel Bustos. Gail Hernandez had two assists and the defense kept dangerous, situa dangerous situations to a minimum with no goals being scored. This advanced them to the championship game where they faced Ro Crawfordsville and won the Hot Dog Invitational 2-1. It was a close game with lots of action. Both goals were scored by sophomore Eric Hernandez. Incredible job boys, keep it up. And last but very not least, uh, with this jam-packed weekend, we would like to wish the girls soccer team a good luck tonight as they travel to Eastern to play at 5.30. Go get them, ladies. I think that just about wraps up sports for today. Great job to everyone for a nice, successful weekend. Hope everyone has a marvelous Monday. Now, we'll actually send it back to your hosts. Mr. Hutton has canceled practice today for the Racy's Festival Ensemble. Practices will continue on Tuesday and Wednesday this week. Marching band will have practice on Thursday after school. If you need a uniform, come after school Tuesday or Wednesday. For anyone interested in bowling, there will be a meeting Thursday, August the 24th at 6 p.m. in the Big Shelter House at the TPA Park. If you aren't able to attend and have any questions, contact Corey Gibbons or El Albert J.J. Lake. For lunch today, in lines one and two will be cheeseburger and chips, and in lines three and four will be biscuits and gravy with sausage. There are no birthdays today. That's it for today, dogs. Have a mythical Monday.